Cancer. What's going on, baby? Tell me the answers. Why don't you? It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Red Cero. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know the energy surrounding you for the month of April 2021. We are here to have some fun, baby. The party is just begun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me, the only thing that you need to do is click the description box of this video or check out the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list. It gives you various ways to connect with me. The best way to connect with me is by sending me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram, shoot me an email at scorpionrise at gmail.com. If these videos resonated, you want to send some love to the page to help us, you know, grow and just help, uh, you know, a lot of new decks and a lot of different things coming on over here on this page. Just go ahead and check out those links again in the description box or the about tab on my YouTube page. OK, you know, as we always do, Cancer, we always get praise, thanks and acknowledgement to Father God, the creator, the universe, whatever it is that you call him or however it is he resonates in your life. We give Father God his flowers here and now. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your head to say a little quick prayer with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer for April 2021. We thank you so much for just, you know, delivering all the blessings that we just need in our life to us, Father God, they always come right on time. Sometimes we just be looking out the window, opening up the door, sitting on the porch, just waiting for the <laughs> just waiting for the delivery man to get here. But you know, you've been teaching us to be patient. Be patient and be patient because he ain't going to show up when you want him to show up. But he's going to show up right on time. Not when you want him, but when you need him, honey. So, Father God, we just thank you for always being there for when you, when we need you, you know. Even sometimes when we don't think that we need you, you know, you're still right there. And we realize later on how much we did need you to be side by side present in our life. So Father God, we thank you so much for the glory because these people don't know our story. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive. And believe for April 2021. And again, thank you for just being the blessing in our life. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get on into it. Y'all, I don't know why my nose is itching. What does that mean, y'all? I don't know because I'm don't. i not an allergy person. So listen, Kansas, this is how we're going to do it today. We have general energy, career and finance over here. We want to take one card from each one of these decks. And then we're going to give some respect over here to these love decks. And we're going to take two from each one of these decks over here for love. So we're going to get into it. Give me guidance for cancer. For April 2021. Thank you so much. Hope all of y'all enjoyed yourself and had an amazing Easter celebration. Okay, give me guidance for cancer. Give me one card for cancer. Thank you so much. Give me one card for cancer. April. Y'all got the destroyer. So who someone just got the destroyer too? I forgot what sign that was. And this is a whole new day. I shuffled this deck 50 million times too, so that's okay. You got the destroyer. Let me see what I'm getting from it this time. Because I'm not necessarily still feeling the same energy. Um, yes, I am. Again, I'm still seeing those four coins on the side. That's telling me it's like you're being guided to hold yourself back from something. Again... Like I said in the other reading, I feel like there's somebody on a war path. There's someone that is being very destructive in their life. I don't know if it's because they think that they're indestructible and they can do whatever they want. And a good fortune is going to come. to. Because there are some people in the world. Have y'all ever seen people that they spew out the most bullshit? They are the most toxic people that you've ever seen in your life. But it, it seems like they always find an escape goat. Like... Nothing seems to happen to them. And it's like, if I was to do that shit, I would have got caught. I would have went to jail. I would have got in trouble. I would have got fired. I would have got put out. Like, I would have got ostracized. Like, whatever it is, like, I would have received my karma. It's like, why do these people not receive their karma? And I genuinely think that there are people in this world that are meant to be destructive, 
really. It is just our duty to recognize these people that are the destroyers. You know, they like to come in people's nice families, nice homes, nice situations, nice areas of peace and just destroy it on their warpath going round and round in a circle. And again, like I said the other day, every person that comes into this destroyer's path, every single body as they're going round and round and round and round in a circle, y'all's uh, test is to recognize them for who they are and then step out of the way of their path. Do you understand? Let somebody else go stumble upon that path and think that it's something great and let them go fuck that shit up. Your test is to destroy your accessibility. You're too accessible to this person. You're too easily like ever led to this path. I don't I don't know. It's like I don't know how this person keeps getting reinvited into your life. But you need to be the destroyer and recognize this person for who they are. They're not going to treat you no better than they treated the person that was before you or after you. If you think that this person is going to act any different, be any better, or be any graceful or respectful to the person that comes after you, you got to be out your goddamn mind. That is who this person is. It's who this person always will be. It's that person's fate until they decide to change and to be otherwise. They're just destructive people in this world. And it just is what it is. And you have to make the choice if you want to play that game with them or if you want to step up out of the goddamn pathway. Because I'm going to step up out of your pathway. I'm going to be the destroyer and I'm going to end my level of accessibility to you. I'm not accessible to you no more. I'm all the way out the way. You ever heard people be like, oh, no, I'm trying to stay the fuck out of the way. Exactly. I'm the fuck out of the way. You go destroy somebody else's shit and finish fucking up your own shit. Okay, thank you. Hello. Come on, cancer. So, I don't know who this is. That is the destroyer, the destructive person that's on this warpath. Cancer. Or if y'all are dealing with the cancer and the cancer, that's who the cancer is to you. Listen. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to tell you what it is, okay? Actually, I'm actually tempted to look in the book and see what the destroyer says in the book because I'll just be going off of my intuition with it. I really do want to see what it says with, in, in this book with the destroyer. I really do. I, tip it. I hate when people pull books out. Look, it says the destroyer, the savage, the unexpected, the rejected. Girl, that's all I'm going to say. It says swift and precise blows that redirect uh, your life. When in the dark, it's, they're self-destructive. There's a lot of negativity and unwillingness to rebuild. Savage, the unexpected, the rejected. Y'all see it right here. I, tell, look, I, I don't need no book to tell me what I feel. I already know what I feel. Okay? Listen. To be real. Got to be real. <laughs> I know what I was feeling got to be real. I Look, I don't need to go up in that book to see what the hell I'm feeling. I already know what the hell type of energy that is right there. That shit was screaming to me the last time. I ain't pulled that book out the last time. And I damn sure ain't need this time. But I just wanted to make sure. I wasn't tripping. Give me guidance here. Cancer. Okay. Child, you got the Charles Ponzi. <laughs> Ooh, who running Ponzi schemes on you? Who is running the pyramid schemes on the cancer? Or is this cancer? What is you doing? Cancer. The destroyer in goddamn Charles Ponzi. Oh, yeah, I see. Like I said, someone is on a war path, and every person that gets sucked in and gets lured into running around in the circles for this motherfucker, you gonna get fucked up. It's like this person was meant to do this. There's people that are just meant to be ill, fucked up ass people out here in the world. Can look, got to be real. I got to be real. Listen, to be real. Girl, can I be real? <laughs> to be real, okay? It says, keep your convictions. Child, it says, keep your convictions even when you're facing multiple. 
got rich quick leave town quicker don't get buried in the pyramid that you built like, didn't i tell you that this person is destructive and on a war path and every person that get caught up with this person they just fuck this part they just fuck their life up and they're just skipping around just pulling more people more people more people into the scheme look like, got rich and got the fuck out of goddamn town quicker listen to this <laughs> I don't know what is going on, Cancer. And y'all let me know down in the comments. Is the Cancer Charles Ponzi the destroyer in your life? Did you get pulled into a scheme? A trick of this person's trade? Did, 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 did you get hit with a whole bunch of spades, bitch? You thought you was... Listen, they done fixed that damn deck and they just... Uh, took. Mm -mm. Keep your convictions even when you're facing multiple. Someone's facing multiple convictions. I'm trying to tell you, it's not just you. It's more than you. This person ain't going to do you no better than they did the person, the last person that was before you or the person coming after you. Do you understand? <laughs> Listen, their motto is don't get buried in the pyramid you build. They got you doing this shit. They ain't going to sit up there and do Listen. They ain't gonna risk their self doing this shit. Y'all did this shit. So it was like, legally, y'all can't... I can't get caught up for nothing because y'all did all of the dirty work. <laughs> Ooh! What a son. You back of that ass up or you sing of that Oscar Maya. Okay? <laughs> Ooh, you got... And then you got the Seven of Swords, bitch. Oh, God. And I'm only taking one of these cards, but child, you got the King of Wands and the two of the... Mm, 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 mm. What the sun? You slinging that Oscar Maya or do you back of the ass? Oh, is you back of the ass? So who is backing their ass up into some foolishness? Like, what I'm trying to tell you that you have been conned. You have been swindled, okay? You have been finessed by the best. This is the card of the trickster, the cons man, the schemer, the scammer, the robber. Do you understand? The robber. They made deals with you and they didn't cross their fingers behind their damn back. Like they knew from the get-go that they was about to destroy your credit, destroy your income, all for their benefit. The Seven of Swords is not a good card. It's not a good card at all. You know, that is the card of someone that is very analytical. Someone that I want to say... Is a good judge of character. They can tell someone that has um, a, a not, how do I say this? Because I'm not trying to be offensive or offend anybody, but their mind isn't sharper than their heart is. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like my heart is quick and Aim, you know, it, it aims for what it wants. You know what I'm saying? My mind is not as sharp as my heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, if I can get to your heart, I can control your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like the heart is sharp. Like the heart is steady pumping, steady thriving. Like this person knows how to swindle people that ever... Um, It's like it's, if you were someone that your life was off balance, like you were trying to find yourself, like you really don't know yourself, you don't know what you're good at, your gifts. It's like this person coming like, oh, you can come in and work for me. Oh, I, I know you got good customer service skills. So it's like this person could get in your head and finesse you and make you feel like you all the way up here so that you could do this person's bidding. Knowing that you're going to get in trouble, knowing that whoever gets caught red-handed is the one that's going to go down for the deal you're like i don't even feel like this person was even around like they they made sure that they were not around slick as a fox you see this they got this box on the back like this is this person's profession this is like this person is not no amateur at fucking people over and finessing people out of their money and out of their business royalties out of their right like this person I'm going to put it to you like this. I know somebody that 
they do this scam where they literally uh, victimize single mothers that are going through financial problems, that are going through like foreclosure and shit. If it's a single mother going through foreclosure, these motherfuckers, and then they're attractive too. They're young and they're attractive. They're like, oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to buy your house from you. And then you just um, pay me the rent. And then when you get your feet back under your feet, then I'm going to sell you back your house or whatever. Something. I can't really explain to you exactly how they did it or what they did or how they talked these women into doing it. But only thing I know is it's like they talked them into this. Because like I said, mentally, they know how to finesse. They know how to search for decent prey you know what i'm saying they don't search for people that are very very intellectual and things and i'm not even saying that they're not intellectual but when your back is up against the wall you're going through foreclosure you're a single mother you're desperate um you just lost your bit like you know certain people know who to attach themselves to based on their situation and their needs so these motherfuckers yeah, I'm going to buy the house from you, blah, blah, blah. They bought the house from her, right? But sold it to one of their friends for like a dollar or some shit like that. So the agreement that they had, that she had with that person, it's no longer credible. And, and, and they don't have to buy by it because the, the contract, the house got sold to somebody else. So it's like... They stole her house. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was like, and they do this shit over and over and over and over and over and over again. And they jump from state to state to state to state to state to state to state. Like once it gets hot, they move around. Do you understand? So there's so many different Ponzi schemes. There's so many different scammers. There's so many different schemers. It's so much shit that you could get caught up in. And again, these people round and round and round and round in circles. They just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're gifted. They're good at it. They are a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I had to like, because people just think, when it comes down to the Ponzi schemes and scammers and things, they just think of one thing, like someone doing like credit fraud or identity theft. No, motherfuckers be getting their house stole. Like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm not even gonna go into how many damn things I know people be doing that is despicable. That's despicable and is wrong, but. Mm -hmm. And they like that they gonna have it back, and they gonna look out for you whole time they got that you doing this shit, and the bag gonna fall on you. Give me one card for cancer in regards to career finance. Let's take this one. What is this music? You got the artist card that came out. Engaging in. Art, artistic activities is beneficial to your career at every level in your life. Hmm. I don't know. You guys might when I see this. I always think of like someone that's good at drawing that likes to just focus their energy and just zone out and draw. Or it's like someone that is likes colors. So, um, I'm looking at somebody that, like museums, somewhere with like a lot of natural lighting, with a lot of beautiful paintings, with a lot of color, with a lot of popping color. So, it's like, um, either you could be an artist yourself or it's like you need a lot of natural light and you need a lot of paintings, drawing, something with oranges, uh, lilacs, um, teal, beautiful pinks, uh, like no dark colors. Like it has to be like bright colors. It's someone that likes very bright springy colors. I don't even see any reds. Like if it's red, it's like a very bright red or a very 
vibrant red, not like a dark red or something like that. It's like it's something about this person mood changes based off of colors. Something about colors and moods. Like wearing bright colors would lift your mood. Like when you wear dark colors, it it messes with your mind or something like that. You have to, I don't know. Let me let it go. And you got the weakness. Like, I'm I'm trying to tell you, it's like, when you're around dark colors, I don't know if it, and it could even be, because me, I see people in colors, like when I, okay, when I date people, um, I don't know why I always see colors on them. Like, my last relationship, my last boyfriend, to me, he looks very good in orange, like orange. I loved him and fucking I got orange on right now. I just okay. I loved him in orange. Like he looks so good in orange and teal. Like those were like it, it was something about when I seen him in orange or teal, it made me so horny. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but it was something about those colors. Um I feel like you guys have been around too much darkness. Not people that emanate light energies. Like I said, when I see people, I see colors on them. I don't know why. I don't know if that's an aura thing that I see around people. It's just weird. I can't explain it. But I see people in colors. I feel like the people, this energy that's been around... It's not even gray. It's it's not a gray area type of situation. It's dark. It's dark. Like even the blues is so dark that it looks black, but it's not. It's extremely dark. And it's a heavy energy and it's like a um it's like a draining. It's like a draining almost. And it's like if you keep you know how people say something about getting sucked into the darkness, like getting like being sucked into the black hole and stuff like that. They ain't saying being sucked into the teal hole, into the purple hole. It's being sucked into the black hole. So it's just like you are getting sucked into something that is depleting your light. And that's why this weakness is here. That's why this sickness card is here. Um, what is this? Is this a this is the eight of spades. This is the eight of spades. So, what the fuck does the eight of spades mean? Shit, I don't even, because I don't even like the spades cards. Spades are not good cards, bruh. Like, at all, on no level of spades, good cards. So, I'm like, the eight of spades, what is the eight of spades? Um, I want to say the eight of spades has something to do with, like, caution, uh, let me just shut up and just tell y'all, cause child, I don't, I don't know why my brain. Yeah, it says the traditionally a card of disappointment, illness, physical restriction, a loss of balance, a lack of reciprocation, unrequited love, something that's one-sided or not mutually beneficial. Like I'm saying, like this is not mutual. This is not mutually beneficial. This is like a pimping and pandering type of thing. It's like someone convincing you and talking you to go out there selling their body. And really who is benefiting from it? This person is benefiting the most. For pimps give their hoes what they feel like they need. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're... Oh, God. I'm just... I just can't. Anyway. Anyway, let me just stop. It says... Physical imbalance health problems, mental imbalance, the doctor, the dentist, a psychiatrist, a wound, pain, insult, feeling slighted or snubbed, her feelings, emotional, upset, reassessing one's goal, examining one's accomplishments, investigating or researching a question or a problem, a medical exam, civil service exam, a scholastic exam, forensics, Police investigation. <laughs> police investigation. Y'all. Mm. 
I don't even know, bro. Like, I just, I got, I gotta, I gotta move on. I really gotta move on. I'm just feeling like, honestly, you're like drifting away from your art, from what you're good at. I, and I really do feel like you're not paying attention to the vibration and the colors that people are emanating around you. Whoever this is, is not a good person. These are not good people. It's something that is literally, it's not, they're not helping you think straight. And, and operate at your prime. They're convincing to do things that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't be caught up in. And they're not going to have your back when this investigation starts. When the police tape rolls out. When, like, this isn't good. You know? This is somebody, like, letting you fall on a murder case or some shit that you did. You, you, you. Mm-mm. Like, you going to jail for murder, and you didn't do nothing but drive the car. And this person dipped out, and is in a whole nother state, working a whole nother group the way that they worked you. Again, let me read this card. Keep your conviction, even when facing multiple. Got rich. Left town quicker. Don't get buried in the pyramid you built. Somebody needs to hear this. Because the same thing that this person is doing to you, they did it to the people before you and they're going to do it to people after you. The destroyer. That's all I'm going to say, man. I got to go. I got to go. More than you know. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I know this as long as I love the dog, but goodness gracious. Well, shoot. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so you got forgiving and learning, and you got new love. So it looks like here, like, again, I feel like someone got worked. Someone got worked. Especially if this has anything to do, if you're trying to tie this into the love situation, I'm basically feeling like you were around some very suspect, like, narcissistic, um, like, you might have had this dedicated, unwavering love for somebody that was just not good for you at all. Um, and again, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. A new person has stirred romantic feelings in you so again whatever hurt that came out of this because it's again every time I look over here it's like you're just the fall guy it's like you're just the fall guy and I don't know if you fell you took a bid you got in trouble while someone else got a chance to run off and continue to find other stupid people to do their bidding but I feel like you just need to release a heal from this. At least you got off of this path of the destroyer. I'm praying that you did. And you're focusing on your art. You're focusing on your gifts. You're focusing on your talent. Because this is not good energy here. This is not good energy here. New love is coming to you. You need to forgive and just learn from that situation and move on. But... You got the six of challenges and then you got the hermit in the reverse so the six of challenges represent like this it could be somebody that you've known from your childhood or someone that you've had like very deep romantic feelings for um this could be someone that uh, i want to say is new someone that you're just like breaking the ice with and you're kind of like i'm getting like a kind of courting and dating and getting to know each other over a cup of coffee sitting in a park just chilling type of thing like that um i want to say this new person could be someone it could be someone that like right after you coming out for this challenging time of being scammed being worked and you know people maneuvering funny around you you learned a lot about people 
and who and how not to trust but still being able to open up your heart to new things so your heart is still open you're still open and receptive to love i just feel like the people got to give to you first and i definitely feel like this person is giving you the attention first and you're giving it right back like it's just like a back and forth reciprocal just like affectionate communication you know did to me this is representing a lot of communication a lot of time staying on the phone um Things of that nature. Things of that nature. And again, uh, in reference to this card, I feel like you guys are having to just look at yourself, looking at old memories and having to forgive the past for the past and just learning what you were supposed to learn from that experience. You were walking around with the rose-colored glasses. But I do feel like you see things for what it is. And you're definitely giving the love back to yourself. And I feel like you're cherishing that from which you came from. So you may be spending a lot of time with family. And just trying to spend more time with friends. And think more of yourself at this time. You're trying to let bygones be bygones. And let the past be the past. And focus on love. You're totally open to that. Um, with this hermit card being in the reverse, it took you some time to find yourself. I mean, it really took you some time. To, I want to say, was the person that did this to you, I want to say, was this like an old friend or something? Like this was someone that, I want to say you know that you trusted. But whoever this was, they knew they had the ability to work you because they knew it. I don't know if it's because of your friendship ties or your the loyalty you had to them or something like that. But whatever this venture was, I definitely feel like this was someone that you know because it's like I want to say it's someone that you knew from your childhood or something like that. I definitely want to say that. Because what I'm getting right here, it's, it's saying that it took you a minute with that hermit card in the reverse to get over those memories of what you thought it was or what you thought it was going to be. And again, forgive and learn from that situation in order to like be receptive to new love. I feel like it's definitely taking you some time to get over that. But you're focused on the future. I feel like you're tired and you're ready to come out of hiding. You're ready to, like I said, you're ready for new love. The hermit is someone that's tired of being alone, tired of focusing and thinking about the past and what other people was trying to do to them. Like, I'm over it. I, I've learned what I needed to do. Like, I, I, if I wouldn't have gone through that, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, ready and willing to open myself up to a new situation. Like, I got away from the destroyer. I'm no longer a victim to the situation. So, it's no need. But, and then again, like the artist, I don't know if you're looking at pictures. I don't know if the person was an artist, drew or something like that. But, I feel like it's time to throw those pictures away, get outside and smell the roses. And just like, reacquaint yourself with life. You know what I'm saying? Throw away all of those old memories. Because the hermit in the reverse could be someone that is having a hard time letting it go. Having a hard time come coming to an understanding of what they were supposed to learn from the situation. And what this purpose of this person in my life. Why I had to experience this. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, you were not the only one that got scammed. You were not the only one that got cheated or manipulated. You were not. A few people had to learn this lesson dealing with this person. And that's why I said that there are people like this in this world for a reason. Because they're meant to teach people lessons that there's good, bad, and, you know, light and evil in every damn thing. You got the abundance card. You had to learn this to teach you to keep people that don't need to be near you away from your abundance. Things are turning around for you. And I'm glad you took some time to yourself to sit in there and to reevaluate yourself. Redefine yourself into a new you. You know, like, because people think that they're hurting somebody by not forgiving them. You're not hurting nobody but your damn self. 
You're not hurting nobody but yourself by sitting back, not letting go, keep crying over some shit that that, that person don't give a fuck about. You did that for yourself. You did that for you so that you can have newness in your life. So that there's true abundance because we're tired of sitting in the house. We don't want to talk about this shit no more. We don't hear about it no more. We don't want to think about it no more. It is no more. What is is this abundance, is this celebration, and all this happiness, and all this fruitfulness that is coming into my life. All this other shit, let that motherfucker go and destroy somebody else. Go fuck with somebody else's business and everything. And people like that, they don't realize what they're doing and the effect that it does and how it hurts people until it hurts somebody of their own. Until it's their daughter, until it's their mother. You know? Literally to their child. If they give a fuck about their child. Like. There are just some fucked up people out here. And they gonna get their karma how they get it. You just move the fuck out the way. That's all I can say. This says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And I'm serious. I don't know who. who. It was somebody else's reading. It was just like this. I don't know which side of the table it is. Then you got the coffin card, and then you got a karmic partnership, okay? So we're going to have to, um, and then you ha had the addictions at the th bottom of the deck. So listen, I definitely feel like it was hard for you guys to get off of this gravy train here. Because they're saying an addict sexually, it's like... Someone was getting while the getting was good. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when the getting was good, it was good. And then when it stopped being as good, that's when you start chasing the addiction. Because you remember when it was good, when it was plentiful, when it was erotic, when it was stimulating. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how people become addicts to something. Because it's like, I want what I can't have. I want what can't be now. You know what I'm saying? It can't be what it was in the beginning no more. Because it is what it is right now. But when you are, again, what do we say? That mental disturbia. When you let someone like this come and disturb your fucking life. Oh, honey. Listen to me when I'm talking to you. When I'm talking to you and I'm making sense. Y'all can go ahead and tell me I'm making sense. When you let someone come and disturb you. Okay. Disturbia. <laughs> Come and disturb your art, your work. Oh, honey. It's at the coffin. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Sometimes you got to kill things and let things die out and be dead and gone. You know, even let that death fertile the ground to, like, nourish the new fruits that are coming to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's the cycle of life. That is truly the cycle of life. If whatever this was hadn't been seen for what it was for what it is, and you would have never suffered the way you did, you would have never disciplined yourself to let it go. And regardless of what, it's not hurting me. Not it's not hurting. Them, me not forgiving them, it's hurting me. If I didn't kill this off, it would not have fertilized the stable grounds that I walk on right now. And I'm sorry if I'm getting all tongue-tied and stuff like that, but that had to end and see itself on its way out for this abundance to get to you. Because, baby, it was karmic. Karmic. And that's why this card came in the reverse. That's not a part of your life anymore. It's been deaded. It's been washed away. And now it's time for you to celebrate and to rejoice. So forgiving people is not for them. It's for you. Spending that time so that you can heal yourself and stop looking at those old memories and come out healed. Come out refreshed. Come out renewed with your heart open, ready to receive love again. That wasn't for them. That was for you, baby. <laughs> that was for you okay so let's get your last two cards and we have five endings bring new beginnings growth 
change, liberation, transformation. And then this one says, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Y'all already know. You already know. <laughs> come on, big freedom. All right, come on. Child, we got the three of swords. We got the three of swords, and then you got the prince of torches. So, again... Um, I'm getting that song. I, I heard "Let It Burn." Just let you no, know, let it burn. You 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 ever um been through something that hurt so bad? It really hurt so bad, and sometimes you just wanted to stop. But sometimes the only way is to just let it hurt until it don't hurt no more. Like stop trying to hold them cries in. Let that shit out. Let that shit hurt. Cry. Feel those emotions. Let those tears flood your, your, your cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Let that. If you need to scream, if you need to get it out, whatever it is, do it. The motherfucker's not coming back. The person is not mature for you. The person wasn't ready for you. Do you understand? And a lot of times... Um, the other aspect that could come into people's relationships and that could come and destroy and taint someone's life and their happiness, it don't necessarily have to be um, another person that they're cheating with. It could literally be jail time. It could be that this person's hustle, this person's lifestyle was so destructive, was so unhonorable was so unethical that my heart is hurting now because this person went away and I don't know when they're coming back and it hurts and I don't know what to do right now even when I was in a relationship it was toxic and sometimes because now I'm, I'm getting now I'm getting that someone was removed from somebody's life because if they wasn't they was going to destroy him right along with everybody else and their self included because this person didn't give enough a fuck about their self nor did they care about anybody else so God removed this person for you so that you could take care of you because, again, I swear, you're going to end up just like, you were about to end up just like everybody else that has been in this person's war path. Regardless if you know it or not, you were going to end up just like everybody else. And this motherfucker always finds a scapegoat. They always find a way to evade justice. But not you. So... I, I gotta go. Only thing I'm gonna say is. Is that new love is coming. The healing is for you not for them. And see that motherfucker for who they are. Don't let nobody take your abundance. Don't let nobody think that they can. Mentally con and finagle you. And cheat you out of your happiness. And leave you there like this i gotta go okay so i love you love yourself hit the like button peace